I'm Eva. I'm teacher at primary school in Stojadwa in Poland. I teach primary school subjects. I'm author of number seven, Nature-Based Solutions Made a Learning Scenario. The topic of my learning scenario is understanding NBS. This topic is applicable for students aged six to nine, although it can be easily adapted for older students as well. Throughout my learning scenario, students get to explore what NBS is. They will also realize that nature can help people and that people are dependent on nature. Another outcome is that students will plan a nature-based solution for their closest surrounding by drawing pictures. My name is Elisa Saraiva. I'm a secondary school teacher from Famalicão, Portugal, and I teach physics and chemistry. I am the author of the nature-based solution learning scenario called Disaster Risk Reduction, which is about proposing nature-based solutions to prevent disaster risks related with forestal fires. This learning scenario is for students from 14 to 15 years old, or even higher, and through this learning scenario, students explore different nature-based solutions available to prevent risks related with the forestal fires and the consequent deforestation. Students will analyze and identify the risks in a given area and making use of their science previous knowledge, they will propose the more suitable nature-based solutions to prevent or reduce the risks. The main products and outcomes for this learning scenario are the following. Each group of students, after developing their project, will present a poster or a booklet with the proposals of nature-based solutions for disaster, disaster risk prevention identified. Thanks to this learning scenario, my students not only looked at nature from a different angle, but they also developed some 21st century skills, such as creativity, problem solving, decision making, collaboration and teamwork. By designing a solution for their school, they could learn that they have influence on their surroundings. This way, their civic engagement was developed. To provide materials for this learning scenario, I used the EU Commission websites Urban Nature Atlas, OPLA and Connecting Nature. I searched for case studies with interesting photos as my learning scenario is based on photos. I used the interactive maps available on these websites, clicked on the chosen places and looked for the photos. The tools and resources that could be used and helped me to introduce this new topic about new uh, nature-based solutions uh, were videos and multimedia presentations, uh, mainly from Fuzikus, and I also use um, some resources from European Forest Institute. Through this learning scenario, students will develop global awareness, environmental literacy, but also competences like creativity, innovation, critical thinking, problem solving, communication, collaboration, and ICT literacy. My students didn't know anything about NBS before taking part in the learning scenario. This subject isn't very popular in Poland yet. My students liked the idea of nature helping us solve some problems, and they mention it from time to time within a few months after taking part in the lesson. Definitely they changed their opinion about nature. Previously, they only looked at it as something of aesthetic value. I'm going to incorporate the subject of NBS in my work much more. I think more and more people should know and learn about it, and use NBS in everyday life. I hope that after all the learning scenarios I are published, I will be able to choose some more to do with my students. In the learning scenario I created, my students especially liked the fact that they could design a nature-based solution by themselves. They said it made them feel like real architects. They got engaged in it because uh, they were asked to plan something real for their closest surrounding, house and school. I implemented the learning scenario during remote teaching and with such young children, it is difficult to discuss during online meetings. 
I wasn't able to create groups. If I could use this scenario again, I would definitely like to test it in school, where we could freely discuss, divide into groups and collaborate. If a teacher is going to implement an NBS learning scenario with very young students, I suggest you leave it for school lessons. It is possible to do it online, but you will lose some part of it. With older students, it isn't that important, as older students are more fluent in using various methods of communication. They can discuss even after the lesson by video calls or chat. It will also be worth checking whether there were some nature-based solutions used in your city. An example from your own city will make students feel more attached to the subject. Never resign from the last part, which is designing an NBS for your school. Only this will help students develop the most important skills. It is also the best fun for them. If you are implementing the learning scenario in the school, take your students for a trip around school area. Let them look at various places from a different perspective. Now they know how NBS works. Then go back to your classroom and give your students just enough time to design and draw their solutions. Show them where to look for resources, for more information. Provide them with ICT equipment to look for answers online. If the students are older, you might include a lesson about different types of plants, what their qualities are, for example, which plants like water, which are best to grow in sunny or shadowy places, etc. Don't hurry up with the lesson. Let your students explore.